In today's video, I will be showcasing you guys Marcel, aka The Beast, in The Vampire Legacies 2. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Marcel is 800 Robux, being only two times more than original vampires. He has 750 health, as you can see down there, 700 energy, and 400 thirst, which is more than at least basic vampires. This is Marcel's one and only outfit. More might come from him in the future, but he just currently has this outfit with his beard. And his idol looks pretty cool. It's arms crossed. And yeah, that's it for his outfit and idol. Just jeans, t-shirt, and of course, jacket. So firstly, we'll be looking at his speed, which as you see is decently fast with white streams of air behind him. And he has the highest jump in the game, at least that's what I think. And because he's an enhanced original, by default, he should be faster and be able to jump higher than every other original in the game. Next is Marcel's eye reveal, which as you see is pretty cool. He has red eyes and those veins, and just look at his eyebrows. I like how this game made it so smooth, and even with the eyebrows coming down, I love it, including the shading of the eyes. Once again, TVO2 did not fail to disappoint. So for the first move for actual abilities, we got Super Punch. Basic, 20 damage, flinging punch. Next we have Choke, which as you see is pretty cool. Lift up and body slam. It's a killing anyone, sending them to zero health, no matter what species or how much health they actually have. Of course, because we are a vampire, we have Shrink Blood, which does damage, but mostly, as you know, it's to actually get blood. It looks pretty cool, and look at his little vampiric eyes showing. And this is a hold ability, or it will kick you off after some time, and your eyes go away. So kind of being like feeding is Throat Rip, which Throat Rip, Rip, does not give you blood. It just does a decent chunk of damage, which is a lot. And also, as you see, it leaves a little blood stain for any ability that's like biting. I don't know if feeding does, but it's a pretty cool texture detail. Next, we have Blood Heal, which takes a lot of blood. I still don't understand. I think it's like 150, 200. And it heals the target a great deal of health, but will not heal them fully. I kind of like that aspect. And of course, it's used for turning and saving your friends from certain death. Nextly, we have Eye Gouge, which I'm going to have it done to me so you can see what it does. Pretty basic vampiric move. It blurs your opponent's vision. Good for lowering a vampire's health and not killing them for certain moves. As you see, I love the sound effects. Next, we have Spine Break, which as you see, you rip the enemy's spine out, paralyzing them for about 10 seconds, maybe 13. So it's very good for, you know, paralyzing your enemy and dealing damage to kill someone without instas. Next, we have Compulsion, which has five commands. First, we have Walk Away. They basically just walk away. They have no control until they get to that like little certain point, which is pretty cool. We have Sleep which they will basically go to sleep. It says begin to lose your memory and I'm getting very sleepy. And this lasts about the duration of the ability. As you see, he's still on the floor and it's a bit buggy. So next we have don't, would you follow me actually? As you see, they will start to run after us like we are God and they have no control. Come all the way over here and he'll run to me. Once again, this is, he follows actually the paths as you see here all the way over there. I do not know how long this lasts for, but it looks of it, they take like little checkpoints of where you are. So they take like three checkpoints. And then of course, never mind, and don't feed. Don't feed, basically you cannot feed. Pretty self-explanatory, it says you can't feed. And that's it for the compulsion. Pretty cool, and there is one more little thing which I will run over right now and show you guys. Which is if you compel a witch, 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 that's not a witch. Come on, that'll be a witch somewhere. That's not the kind of witch I want. So when you find a witch, you can, you know, come to compel, and you can make them to make you invisible. As you see, I'm now invisible, and I can do moves invisibly. Given that's a word. And it will, it's basically the same as the heretic's invisible spell. And when it begins to fade, it will tell you so you kind of know when it's about to run out. It's a good way of patrolling, and as you see, it begins to fade, and I come back into this world visibly. 
Next, we have neck snap from two sides. First, the front, which as you see is pretty cool. From the front, that crunchy chiropractor sound effect. But if you're behind the victim, you can go from behind them, which, oh, as you see, apparently it bugged. And just look how cool that is. I like the back more than the front, to be honest, with the animation. It looks more conspicuous. And as if for neck snap, it will set everyone's health to zero, just like choke. So now we have Heart Rip in Hope Michaelson's room. We'll see more of this in another video. So first, from the front, you just, you know, grab in, steal the heart, and they fall over. But just like Neck Snap, you can basically rip the heart out from the back. And this is Heart Rip from the back. As you see, pretty cool, like you surprise them. And of course, you have the blood pile on the floor. Now let's get to head decap. So, head decapitation, aka head rip, can only be done one way, which is from the front. As you see, it's pretty cool. The head's on the floor, and the blood is gushing out of the body. Honestly, I love this, and it is the only ability in the game that can insta-kill the phoenix. So now we move on to Marcel's one special ability, which is his upgraded bite. Ah! It will kill any vampire in the game, but with because of some bugs, his bite cannot kill originals if they are choked, which is the insta-kill move, neck snapped, or heart rip, because the insta-kill will override his venom. But as you see, I bit Stefan. He is currently losing 5 health, just like normal bite. But if you neck snap normal vampires after biting them, it will actually insta-kill them. I guess because they don't have some properties, like Immortality original properties. And so that is it for his very special, very overpowered bite. And as of right now, there is no official cure, only through bugs. So there's only one way to kill Marcel as of right now, which is if you go to the weapon shop, or you spawn as Michael, and you buy the white oak stake for these, I think, moonstones, and then you stab me, it will kill me. So let's do that real quick. So I got White Oak Steak. Now he has no protection for some reason. Hopefully that's a bug. And this is what it will look like. The body starts turning to ash. Looks pretty cool. And that is it for Marcel in a hole. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And turn on notifications, of course. I will see you guys in the next video. And have a good one. Goodbye.